Hi guys and welcome to the Android Tutorial YouTube channel. Today we're going to check out Android Auto. And for the people that don't know, Android Auto is a version of the operating system of Android, which is tailored for cars. So it's coming up in a lot of cars. Um, Google announced that it's more than 400 type of models, which is great, fantastic. And we're going to check it out. So Android Auto comes with your cell phone. There's no standalone head unit that you're able to buy right now that won't prevent you without using your cell phone. So you got to have a USB plug. It has to be an Android Auto compatible car and you have to be using an Android version of 5.0 or higher. As you can see, this is an Android Auto compatible head unit. I have my cell phone plugged in. And here is the Android Auto icon, which is recognizing. So if I click here, you could see the familiar user interface. It's a little bit more colorful, has a little bit more information. You could see that my location, it's 24 degrees Celsius that I'm located in here, that it's mostly sunny and the high temperature would be 29 degrees to 19 degrees so it's gonna be fairly hot today i'm on 4g lte um, my cell phone is fully charged and it's 8 53 a.m okay i also got a microphone so i can make um questions for google okay down here you got several things this is the main button which you're able to click and you're always going to return to this main window very much as you would do in an Android phone. You got directions here and basically the apps that you have here are based on the apps you got on your phone. Obviously they got to be tailored for Android Auto. So first of all this is the direction menu. So I got two apps compatible which are the only two that are available right now which are Google Maps that came from the start and Waze, which basically came up about mm, seven months ago. You can check my Waze in Android Auto video in the description below, and you're able to see it here. For example, Google Maps. This is the familiar user interface that Google Map is using, and you're able to zoom in, zoom out, type in directions. It has a keyboard. It can only be used while the car is very very slowly driving or when you're stopped 100 percent completely okay you're able to use ways the other way and this is how it looks i'm not get, gonna get into it because there's another video about that this is my main contact, so you could see that it's transferring the contacts from my phone. Um, but basically, I'm able to scroll or use this for easier scrolling, or I'm able to dial a number, and basically, it's going to use my phone, and everything's going to be okay. Okay, so once again, if I want to go back, I just press this, and if I want to delete this card, I am able to delete it. Um, this is the basically entertainment card. So I have Audible, Google Play Books, which I did a video about this um, about two days ago. So check it out. Google Play Music, TuneIn Radio, and Twit Netcasts. Um, so I'm able to, for, for example, go to Google Play Music and then it's gonna give me Miley Cyrus, I don't know why. You're able to go to playlist, for example. You're able to hear podcasts. So last added music, most heard playlist. Okay. You're able to perform a cue. So do Mumford and Sons. And as you can see, it's quite simplistic because everyone basically wants to have um, the less the lesser amount of controls due to the fact that you're driving, you don't want to be distracted, you don't want to all that kind of stuff. So basically, that's that's the reason. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do more videos about Android Auto. If you have any questions, 
leave them on the comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the youtube channel which that helps us a lot and i'll see you guys on the next one bye